Hi everybody, it's me. How are you doing? So, sorry I've been absent for a while. I've been out performing and doing my thing. Um, but anyway, I figured tonight was all about the Pompadour Mohawk. Um, I don't know why. So it's it Hanukkah? But anyways, um, I don't know what to say. I finally got my nails done. Love them. But anyways, uh, the reason why all this is happening is because I'm actually preparing for a little bit of a gig I have. I'm appearing with Mama Savannah, Georgia on Thursday. Well, tomorrow now. Oh, holy shit. But, um, I'm just trying to get, like, hairstyles and stuff down, seeing what looks good, what's trash, what isn't. But I also figured, since I'm here, I might as well post a video, because it's been a while. But anyways, um, things that have been happening, um, I've been performing, which is fun. And I'm actually going to be starting a little... Q&A section here, so if you have any questions to ask me, whether they be um, questions on my drag or my appearance, go ahead. So, like, that means if there's a tutorial you want to see on how I do something, I'd be more than happy to. Um, if you, uh, as long as I don't divulge too many family secrets, because I don't want my drag mother to beat me with a rake. Um, if you want my opinion on real life issues, like politics or something weird like that, I'm, I do my best to stay informed. I can do, do my damnedest to give you my opinion. Um, so there's makeup, there's, so my drag, my other drag queens, um, if you want, I, I, doing it not to be shady but it, other drag queens or something like that but anything you might want to ask a drag queen that's why I'm here honey but anyways um, I, the reason why I'm thinking because I got a, um, a question um, recently and it was how would you describe your drag style I think I'm a little bit too over dramatic to be considered fishy. Especially when I have my lashes on. Today today's a slow night, no lashes tonight, sorry guys. I don't Yeah, no lashes. But anyways I definitely consider myself because of also the way I perform um, I consider my type of, my style of drag very old school. And it's also the second part of the question, which was essentially the difference between drag and female illusion. I mean, I am in no way, shape, or form fishy. I can never pass as a woman. I am like 200 pounds. I am six foot three, out of drag. In drag, I am probably, well, Let's say a foot of hair. About. That was inappropriate. Oh my god. I just had a nip slip on camera. I feel. Janet Jackson, I feel your pain. But a foot of hair, usually. Um. And then six inch heels. So I'm, and the hair depends. So usually I'm over seven feet tall. Usually. But, um, yeah. So there's no way I can pass as a woman unless I'm like trying to be Madame Maxine from Harry Potter, giantess in the fourth book. No way in hell. No way. 
So, my thing is the difference between female impersonation and drag. Drag queen is a caricature of a woman. Female illusion is almost passing. But that's just me. And also, I have to do a disclaimer because shade and blah blah blah. Just because I'm an old school campy bitch does not mean I do not respect and love and completely give all the props in the world to those fishy bitches who go up and look at me, I'm a natural girl. Because that takes talent. Bec becoming a man in a wig is one thing, but becoming a woman is completely different. It's a completely different skill set, which is incredibly amazing that you have. But anyways, it's like 3 a.m. and I think I should get to bed. But anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a form spring. Haven't heard of those in a while, right? And for everybody who wants to ask a question, I will answer it here. Um, or you can just message me. Um, If you want, and I'm here to help, if you have questions on boyfriends, girlfriends, life, parents, issues, school, whatever, I want to try to help. So go do your thing, honey. And also, um, it is the first, I believe it was, it's probably by the time you people are watching this, it's probably the second night of Hanukkah. So happy Hanukkah to those who celebrate. Merry Christmas to those who celebrate because I probably won't be making a video until Christmas is over. Um, happy Kwanzaa, happy Solstice, happy whatever. I hope, I wish all of you the best and hope you all have a great holiday season. And stay tuned because after I film my little TV show and have a performance a couple days after Christmas, I'm all yours again, YouTube. Alright guys. Happy holidays. Love you much. Bye.